What's going on, friends? It's good to see that you conquered cowardice and came back for week three of the Universal Studios Monster Series here on Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. This week, we'll be taking a look at the swear of the Psy who stuck in surgical wrap, Raph as the Mummy. This Halloween, Raphael has combined his ancient Asian fighting style with the ancient Egyptian act of embalming. We can skip over what actually goes down during a real mummification, as it's a pretty puke-inducing process. Besides, this is just Raph's Halloween costume, right? Raph as the Mummy is extremely simple in appearance, as he's mostly covered in white gauze. There is, however, still plenty of detail in his sculpt. You can see places where the wrap hangs off or is torn away. Through the time-tattered tape, you can see Raph's shell, as well as the nasty necrosis of his skin on portions of his face, arms, hands, legs, and feet. Keep in mind that even though he's meandering about as a mummy, Raphael is still a master of martial arts, and thus still has on his red ninja bandana, belt, elbow pads, and knee pads. Raph as the Mummy is as mobile as his brothers, with seven points of articulation. Like we've seen from the other Universal Studios Monsters Turtles, though, Raph as the Mummy has primo posture appropriate to the ancient undead. He appears to be shambling about, and due to decayed muscles, is only able to lift his one arm, with which he reaches for those who rouse them from rest. Last week, we saw that Mike as Frankenstein does glow, but since all of his glowing parts are extremely small, he hardly pierces the darkness. Raph as the Mummy, though, is practically a solid job of glowing paint. Unfortunately, though, these guys don't seem to retain their light for very long, thus their glow-in-the-dark feature often proves to be a flash in the pan. As you would expect, Raph as the Mummy has gear that goes great with his ghastly gimmick. He comes with a variation of his usual weapon in the Two Cobra Psy. It's no problem getting him to grip one in his right hand, but his left is a little less of a closed fist, so you have to sometimes work at getting it to stay. He's also got a stone dagger, which seems somewhat redundant, but is still a pretty slick sidearm. Like Don as Dracula, Raph the Mummy comes with an accessory for you, the kid-sized Egyptian ram. Man, with this Universal Studios monster set of TMNT figures, we green team goers get our game on. Some speak of some sort of silly mummy curse you can suffer for bagging their bling, but come on, who believes in something as crazy as curses? So, assuming Wrath as the Mummy didn't scare you away and you actually made it to the end of this video, what did you think of him? Join us on the forums at www.popculturenetwork.com and indulge us with your ideas. And now that you've joined, take in all of the sites there are to see at Pop Culture Network. There are lots of videos, podcasts, and articles on other toy lines, wrestling, video games, comics, and even coverage of cons and events. Plus, there's the Pop Culture Network store, where your purchases of Primo products help perpetuate Pop Culture Network and all of its material. If you've managed to get through these last three episodes without fleeing in terror, keep in mind, there's still one more of the first series of Universal Studios Monsters Turtles to go, so you're not safe yet. You can temporarily chase away your fears by visiting www.radicalretro.com to watch previous episodes of Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. Call upon all of your courage to return next week for more Monster Madness. Stay rad, all. Hmm.